Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Cisco WebEx Teams board in conjunction with the Cisco WebEx Teams app to be able to both save your whiteboarding uh, so you can come back and work on it later and or to uh, actually be able to collaborate on whiteboard designs with someone who is around the world. Let's dive in and check out how this is done. First things first, you need to have a space open. In this case, I'll use the demo space I used in a prior video. You'll notice in the lower left hand corner of the screen, the demo board is detected by intelligent proximity. Let's go ahead and open that up now. You'll have two options, share your screen or open a space. In this case, we're going to open a space. You'll see the demo space is opened on the board. A few things will change. Predominantly the name of the space is listed at the top. Uh, if we go from here and open the whiteboard application, you may see that there's already a whiteboard created uh, if you've done something like this before. If not, you have the option to create a new whiteboard. I'll create a new whiteboard and start annotating. We'll just put a number one there so we know this is whiteboard number one. Now, if someone was to open the WebEx Teams app and pair with a WebEx board, anywhere else inside your organization or really outside of your organization uh, and they are part of this team, they can now collaborate on this whiteboard as well. Let me illustrate this by showing you the whiteboard in real time inside of the WebEx Teams application. If you come to your team and go to the whiteboarding option, your whiteboards will be listed. Select the whiteboard you want to edit. Here you can see the whiteboard on the screen and on my computer are the same thing. Now, if I want to choose a different color, we'll choose red and actually edit the uh, on the WebEx board whiteboard, we'll see that reflected inside of Teams. Likewise, I'll choose a different color and annotate inside of Teams. You'll actually even see that the person who annotated uh, from their application will be reflected on the whiteboard as well. So a really great way to collaborate, keeps the whiteboard centralized inside of Teams. Obviously, we can close this team and relaunch it on a different WebEx board, uh, really anywhere. We can edit it in the app. If I had a touchscreen laptop, I could even edit it right there, far easier than I could with a, uh, a mouse or trackpad. Um, but that's it. If you have questions, comments, or other tips or tricks about working with whiteboards, please leave them in the comment section below. With that being said, I want to thank you for watching.